Yeah, my name is Barbara Smith, um, Emma Smith's mum. Emma is now 21. Um, she started at Thornbeck when she was 18. Um, she lives in also Nias Residential as well as attending the um, college here. Mainly for Emma, we've noticed a massive difference. Um, her anxiety levels really came down. So that made her able to learn better, her concentrations better, which in turn made her confidence more. So really, you know, it's just the environment is the right environment to uh, decrease her anxiety levels. Her language is much better now. Um, she's talking an awful lot more and it's more appropriate. It's not just repetition. Um, well, she's done quite a lot Why she's been here. Um, the main thing uh, for me is the fact that she's accessing works experience. Um, she's done like a couple of nurseries outside of NIAS in the local uh, community um, and she also is doing works experience in NIAS's nursery, special needs nursery and um, yeah I think she's doing really well, it's given her a lot of confidence. I just think she's happier, um, she's, she's a lot less stressed, a lot less anxious, it's awful seeing your child anxious all the time. And all you want is for your child to be happy and she is much happier and much more confident. And it's not just us that's noticed it, friends, family, everybody's past comment um, about the change in it. And it's just the fact that she's more confident and she's more able to go places and access, you know, different environments now because, because of the work that they've done here, really. I think because it, they look, when, when, when they do the assessment, they look at what her strengths are. And so then they build everything around that. Emma's always had good visual skills. She, um, her listening skills were always a little bit, because of her anxiety level, she didn't used to listen very well. So they've worked very hard on her visuals, using visual prompts. But because her anxiety levels have come down, now she's listening more. So it's just all those type of things have tapped into things that she's good at and it's given her the confidence um, to move forward. Um, I just think, I mean, I mean for us, we've always had massive support um, off the college, off residential, off NIAS as a whole really. Um, and I think the fact is that they actually care about what they're doing. Um, so for us as parents, I, I, I like the thought that she's in a safe environment with people who actually care for her um, and want her to do well. I think it has a really good um, atmosphere, calm. The staff are all, they're all nice and they all seem to care. Everyone's very friendly. And they just seem to like really enjoy what they're doing. It's not it doesn't appear to be just a job to them. They all seem to really care about what they're doing. So that, for me as a parent, makes me feel much more comfortable um, that Emma's here. And it's just changed her totally. We went round lots of places, you know, everywhere as pluses and minuses. And you've got to do what's right for you as a family. We just knew. Um, I, I tend to go on my gut instinct and we just knew this was the right place for Emma. We have had to fight for it because um, we're, we're not in the area. So every year, you know, we do have to fight for funding, but it's been well worth it and we'll carry on fighting for the funding to keep her with NIAS as long as possible.